Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video tutorial for you today that will show you how to add a speech bubble on Canva. Uh, just before I get into that, I'd like to mention that there's a link in the description of this video just down below that will take you to a free trial version of Canva where you can give this all a go for yourself. Uh, so I'm going to just change the background of my image um, just so the text appears on some red background like that. So say if I wanted to place this text in a speech bubble now and add a speech bubble of some kind to my image, um, you'd need to go into the elements options on the left hand corner here. And then if you type in the word speech bubble, which you can see that I just did, uh, just to see what was out there nowadays, um, or, you know, when you type in the word speech, that comes up as a suggestion. So click speech bubble and you can see that you've got a whole range of different uh, graphics and photos of speech bubbles here as well. So you can use either either graphic or photo, both will work. Um, you can see that the obviously the photos are a little bit more realistic. The graphics are a little bit more sort of cartoonish. Um, some of them have got pro associated with them, especially the photos. A lot of the vector images, the graphics, they come free. Uh, so I'm going to select this square one, and then I'm just going to drag that into my image. And you can see that it's a little bit too small. So if I make that a little bit bigger, you can see that I've got that speech bubble there. If in the event that your text um, looks like that, um, oh, if I undo that for a second, um, if I send it backwards a layer, if for example that your speech bubble is on top of your text, you know, if that does occur, um, make sure that you right click the text and then bring forward, okay? If you select bring forward, that'll make sure that it's on top of the speech bubble and not below it uh, in terms of layers. So your speech bubble won't be overlaying the text. And that's it. Um, as you can see that we can, you know, use a bunch of frames and use a picture behind it to create the speech bubble from an, Im an image. Um, obviously some of the photos are free and then, like I said, the vast majority of them are available in the graphics, point in different ways, different shapes, things like that. And that concludes our video tutorial. So like I said, there's a free link to the Canva free trial version in the description for this video down below. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more content of that nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or any suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.